Madison Improv. It's Wednesday night. It's time to party, am I right? Let's go! I had a couple Bud Lights earlier. I'm gonna get naked and fight somebody tonight, I swear to God. Probably this guy right here. <laughs> You're closest to the stage, man. I don't make the rules. Well, welcome to a comedy show. <laughs> Hey, man, I just want to say something real quick, man. I I'm sorry about that whole getting naked and fighting somebody thing. I had a 23 and Me done recently, and uh, it turns out I am whiter than the line at Starbucks. Uh, <laughs> German, French, Irish, and British. Yeah. And for some reason, when I saw that, I instantly was like, I've got Viking blood, brother! <laughs> so, yeah, I've just been exploring my heritage a little bit, uh, getting naked and fighting people. Yeah, and it's going good. <laughs> yeah, it's going real good. <laughs> uh, apparently, I look like I will sell you weed, but I might accept Little Debbie's snacks as payment. Uh, <laughs> this guy right here offered to trade me a Swiss roll for a pre-roll before the show. How rude. I will be eating that later, though. Thank you, sir. That was, I, would, I hope you enjoy that pre-roll, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> I do look like a Viking, though. I've got Viking energy, right? I look like a Viking, yeah. I just, I look like a Viking that likes to plunder Dunkin' Donuts. It's not a good look. Uh, it's not a good look. I make a lot of jokes about fighting people, but I'm gonna be honest with you folks. I have never been in a fight in my entire life. But there is a few people that I have wanted to fight in my life, trust me. Uh, this guy told me yesterday, has anyone ever told you that you have the male equivalent of resting bitch face? <laughs> and I thought to myself, what the hell, man? I'm a nice guy. So anyway, I knocked him out. I just punched him. <laughs> and I was like, <clears throat> now who's the resting bitch? <laughs> I don't really count that as a fight is what I'm saying. Uh, I just knocked the guy out. <laughs> this guy scooted up to me on a scooter uh, the other day. And he was like, he saw my shark tattoos. I got a, a bunch of shark tattoos. So he was like, hey, man. Hey, buddy. Hey. Did you know that a dolphin's just a gay shark? <laughs> I was like, what the hell does that even mean, dude? You could do that with anything. Hey man, you know a zebra's just a gay horse? <laughs> he looked at me weird and he just scooted off and I was like, hey man, don't forget, a scooter's just a gay motorcycle. <laughs> All right, have a good day. <laughs> have a good day, sir. I don't know. It's at this point in the set, you guys can tell I got a lot going on for me. Uh, I am a comedian. I'm also a professional musician, and I have been my entire life. I, I actually packed up my drums and my clothes in my car, and I moved out to Hollywood, California at one point. And it actually ended up working out pretty nice for me. I signed a bunch of record deals. I got to tour all over the world. I got on the billboard charts. I got to live in my car. <laughs> I got to drive for Uber. Pretty sweet, but those two things do not go very well, by the way. If you're an Uber driver and you live in your car, especially when you're trying to meet the ladies, because when you're at a bar, they're always like, so what do you do? And I was always just like, I work from home. Uh, I work for a technology company. I'm self-employed. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually did live out in Hollywood and I moved, uh, I've decided to move back to Texas recently but I made the mistake of leaving my California license plate on my car. Yeah, big mistake. So when I rolled into town, some guy was like, we don't take too Cali to you can around these cats apart. <laughs> I got out of the car and I was like, dad, it's me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I've never met my biological father. Um, uh, <laughs> totally a bastard. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I searched for my biological father for 38 years of my life. I finally found him recently. We we're arranging our first meeting. And he passed away before I could even buy the plane ticket. Yeah, my dad ghosted on me, everybody. It's just sad. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway. So, <laughs> like I said, you guys can tell I got a lot going on for me. Um, no, I really did drive Uber out in uh, Hollywood. And uh, you, guys, you guys take Uber rides, Lyft, ride chair? Yeah, we've all done it, right? Who's sitting in the front seat out here? That's what I thought. Yeah, that's usually how I identify the creeps in the room. Nobody wants to admit it. This guy sat in the front seat and uh, 
This guy sat in the front seat, I swear to God. And uh, I didn't think anything of it. I should have seen, the, you know, I should have seen it coming. The, the conversation took an awkward turn. He was like, so what are you into? <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm into music. I'm a musician. <laughs> oh, yeah? You like music? Does it get you hard? <laughs> I was like, huh? But, and before I knew what was happening, I swear to God, my Uber passenger reaches over and aggressively fondles me. Yeah. <laughs> and a guy that looks like me, you would think I would have just instantly hammer smashed his face. Ugh, Viking style? No. I made it to like a weird, awkward date. I started asking him a bunch of questions. I was like, dude, has this ever worked for you before? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to pull over and we're just gonna start blowing each other? <laughs> he, I swear to God, he goes, I'm sorry, I had a bad day. <laughs> I've had a lot of bad days. Never once did I feel like a handful of a stranger's junk was gonna make me feel better about that day. Uh, my junk is not a stress ball, sir. All right, thank you very much. My name is Noah Shark Robertson.